Welcome back. Um, if you're here after my last video, let me tell you I should have added more stuff to that video because today's video is going to be so long. I have so much stuff, you guys. So much stuff. So let's just let's just go. This is an estate sale haul. This estate sale was a hoarder estate sale, and I have some footage from it, so I'll be inserting it. It's a little thrift with me. This house was a hoarder house. I literally had dreams about this house last night. That's how obsessed I am with estate sailing. Anyways, let's get into the haul. The first thing I got. Look at this. I got a lot of jars so we're just gonna show you all the jars right off the top and I think this one is my favorite it wasn't my favorite but it has become my favorite because it says cereal in a beautiful font in a beautiful color can you imagine this on open shelving in a dream kitchen like the next jar is this kind of blue tinted one that has these orange flowers all over it and this one was my favorite but then i realized it's a blue jar I'm kind of upset that that wasn't just like white glass instead it's blue it kind of clashes with the orange so maybe this will be on my etsy shop it's not etsy it's instagram oh my god i am the jar queen one two Three, a mini one. Gotta love mini stuff. Three. Oh my god, this is a mistake. Four. There's two more over there, okay? Five and six. And this one doesn't match the rest, but I love the wooden lid. I've been looking for jars with wooden lids for the longest time. And I'm annoyed that this one doesn't match the rest. But that's okay. It's kind of cool that they're all a little different. Some of them are just like this, and some of them are like this. Love it. You can put your spaghetti in here. You can put your flour in here. Just, you know, open shelving. That's the goal to get to. Next, I got this to sell on my shop when it's up, but it is this really cute wall tapestry it has these really pretty flowers on it very 70s love the colors like just so good so good how can you like so good i screamed i didn't scream i screamed internally when i saw this one it is a little picasso baby pillow I love Picasso. I want a Picasso tattoo so bad and I want the dove with the face. So I think this is a sign. I've never seen this before and like this is so unique and I just love it so much. It's just a cutie little pillow. Next thing I got is this little wooden stool for five dollars and if you go to an antique store if you find like milking stools they're like freaking up $35 and up, you know? Don't want to pay that for a little tiny stool. So when I saw this at the estate sale, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. I got this really pretty purse and I got this for $10. And why I loved it is because it has this amazing latch closure. Like, I don't know why I haven't ever seen one of these purses like that i usually see them all very similar styles and i love that it opens like that that's just so freaking gorgeous the rest of the stuff is honestly my favorite stuff so if you have stayed this long like i applaud you if i was a coffee cup i would be this little coffee cup next i was super excited about this piece because i saw it in the pictures that they posted online and i was hoping to find it when i went to the estate sale i also went on the last day of a four day estate sale this was still there on the last day and i love this look at the people that are like etched into it i've never seen a ceramic like uh, what is this what is this? Picture? That's a picture. That's a picture. Oh, it does have a signature. I think it's Andrea. 
Andrea in 96. I found this picture for three dollars. I I can't I no words. I found this underneath the dining table. So guys, look under shit, look in shit, look through shit, look up at shit. Sorry, children. This copper teapot, and it has this beautiful handle and little knob on the top, and it is so, so pretty. I got this miniature. I think these are called Crocs, and these are pretty expensive. And again, I got this for $3. Love the little brown stripe on there. That might be available in my shop. Jordan found this basket and you guys, it is beautiful. It is in amazing condition. I love this. Just imagine like a beautiful hanging like ivy coming out of this basket. So pretty. Then I got this set of eight. There's two more in there. A set of eight little we think they're little sake shot glasses, but they also might be for green tea, a green tea, uh, tea ceremony, but they're a little small for a tea ceremony, I think, but I love the glaze on them. Whole set, $3. Okay, in the garage, we found a bunch of little wooden toys, and wooden toys are so expensive and we found three of them but i'm just going to show you one which is my favorite one is this little truck it has orange wheels and is a yellow truck it is so cute and it was three dollars i found this little purse basket which was like freaking on the porch in this bucket three dollars i need to wash it but i want to take some photos with it because it looks like a very expensive Prada bag, um, so that's a deal. And then after I take some photos in it, I'm going to list it. People are using these to put their plants on now. It obviously was for a doll, and you can use it that way too. But um, I love that it's like a little couch instead of just like the peacock chair. I haven't ever seen these in person, but I see a couple of sellers have them, and I'm obsessed. It's so cute. You can put a couple of plants on there. Who knows? Three dollars. You guys know I love thrifting books and I found this Santa Fe design book. I love looking through design coffee table books for inspiration. This whole entire set was $25, which I was actually shocked by. I thought it was gonna be a lot more because this is all little wooden carved fruits. And look how cute the grapes are and I didn't think they were gonna let me like take the little trough with it but it was all $25 and then last but not least I did not find this at the estate sale we were driving down the street and there was a free okay. sign Bye. love that word and we pulled over because I saw this beautiful masterpiece some of you might hate it. I can see why. It's very 80s, but this is very in right now, and I hate saying it's like in right now, but like that justifies that like not only do I like it, but other people like it too. But I loved that it was cream because I've seen these all over Instagram in like bright pinks and blues, and that's just not my style. So the fact that this was on the side of the road for free, I was just like, I we need to go get that. And then I found some other things that I don't need to include in this video because it's just a couple of tea kettles, again, that I'm going to sell. If you've stuck around for this whole entire video and the last video that I did, part one, you guys are the OGs. Like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I saw for the first time that people actually turn on their post notifications for me, so that's just like... Wow, like people actually care. Like, I feel good. So thank you if you're one of those people. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Okay guys, it's been, it's been too long. Bye.